Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, what you see on my screen is what we are going to be making and this has just simple and easy steps. So if you are interested in following me to create this, all I have to say is stay tuned and I should be right back after the intro. Okay, so before we get started in today's video, what I would want to introduce you to is Canva Pro. So just in case you are looking at having more than using Canva Pro from um, resizing your designs to various dimensions when it comes to publishing your designs from Canva to any social media platform and even when it comes to adding multiple brand kits from your clients you know, to your Canva account, then I think Canva Pro is the best option for you. So if you are interested in trying Canva Pro for free, I have a special link in the description box below that can help you do that. So without any much ado, let's dive into Canva and let's get started with today's design. Okay, so this is what we are going to be making like I showed you okay, um, earlier and I'll just click on add a page and afterwards what we are just going to do is very simple. The first thing we are going to do is to add a circle. So I'll just press C on my keyboard for a circle okay, and I'll um, change the color to blue like you saw earlier so any of these blues you know would be okay so i would make it a bit bigger and i'll zoom in so that we can actually focus okay so then the next thing i'm going to do is i'll duplicate the circle change the color to white okay and i'm just going to center it here then i would reduce the size of the circle and just in case you can hear the chicken i'm very sorry i have no control over that chicken it's it was not ours so yeah okay then we come into element again and in element we are just going to scroll down scrolling down okay so we scroll down and i'll select this frame this circular frame we have over here so i will just also center this okay then i would reduce the size so by reducing the size click on any of the corners and press and hold alt while you drag okay so that it reduces the size evenly so something like this looks delicious okay so once you do that select all of it and make it bigger all right then bring it over here you can see it's not big enough so we would move it here but you can see it looks like the spacing is just too much okay so maybe i would increase the size of this you know so something like this and uh, maybe also increase the size of this to something like this then if you want to be a little bit creative you can um, stretch this one out okay then we can come here to position and center it okay then you just push it back up so that's you know that will depend on how you want it to look but i will keep it normal you know like i did uh okay so this is okay for me i don't want anything to you know anything superficial so yeah okay so i'll just move it up like this then press r on your keyboard or you can come to element again you know just scroll up and just choose this shape over here this square shape over here this is a square so just choose it and then we'll add it to our design so stretch it like i'm doing okay and we'll change the color so i'm just going to change the color to this color over here and the color code is 251c38 8 not 8 okay <laughs> so yeah so right click and send it to the back okay so this is what we have over here as well so for now with this shape i would lock it okay so i'll just come here and lock now we have this um you know circles we have so i would select all the circles and duplicate it reduce the size of it you know and position this one here you can see that's what we have over here but in this case what we have is um we do not have this blue circle okay so i remove it and i will just increase the size of this to something like this okay so you can see how it's looking but when you watch over here we added there's some slight shadows only if you can notice it okay so what we are going to do is we'll come in element okay and we'll just search for circle okay so once you search for the circle what you have to do is to come to photos and in photos there are so many circles you would see but you just have to look for any white circle like this okay if you are using canva pro um yeah this should be easy for you but if you are using the free version of canva you can still use any of the pro elements you understand okay so um what i'm going to do is 
I would increase, no, I'll duplicate this one, okay? Because I want to make sure the size of my circle is the same. And I would increase the size. Okay, so something like this is fine. Now, which one? Okay, so this is the image and this is the shape. So I'll delete the shape. With the image, I would come to edit image and I will search for shadow. You know, because you can't add shadows to text or you can't apply shadows to text. And that's the reason. So we'll choose glow. Okay, and we'll click on it again. Increase the size of it. Increase the blurriness of it and reduce the transparency okay so it should be something slight so 23 looks perfect okay so i would send it behind and move it to the top but you can see that when i move it here it replaces the photo frame and that's not what i want so i rather have to use my io keys okay so this is what we have been able to do so now what i'll do is i would select um you know the photo frame and um, and the shape and i'll group them uh, what okay so i think what just happened is the design wasn't saved okay so i just have to redo everything again so we'll just add the shadow so glow okay and um we'll increase the size let me place it here so that i can see and increase the blurriness and reduce the transparency over to 24 which looks cool okay so then i would position it here it's centered so it is behind okay then i would increase the size of it so you can see how it's looking so i increase the size and this should be fine so you can see a saving post so make sure your design is saved before you move on to any other step you understand okay so once we are waiting we are just going to fill in you know this shape so come to photos and you can search for hiking or any interesting thing mm, photos instead yeah so i will search for maybe hiking okay because i think it makes um our design look more interesting so there are so many images over here so you can choose this which is which is cool and um, even though it's looking blurry right now i know it's because okay our design is saved that's why it's now looking sharp so you can see how our design is looking and i would okay so i would select the circle photo and the shape and i'll group them okay then i duplicate it and place them over here okay so with this one ungroup it I know it's a lot of steps but that's what you have to do <laughs> so ungroup it first okay and to ungroup if i'm going too fast you can click over here you see ungroup i don't know if they are still good but they should be ungrouped by now okay so they are ungrouped then you duplicate the shape okay position it there and you can change the color to any color at all so maybe this one and uh, we'll reduce the size okay so something like this is fine select you know all three shapes and group them okay so that you can have you know one shape over here then we'll duplicate this and also position it here but with this color we can change it to any color of our choice so something like this is fine okay so maybe reduce this slightly and select this and also reduce it slightly okay position this one here and select all of this plus this and position it here okay so you can see what we are doing this is beautiful so you can add another you know image over here so i'll add this one double click and bring it to the down okay so that this is how it's looking then what we are going to do is we are going to finalize on the bottom part of this so we would come to element in element we just search for gradient okay so in gradient we will see so many options so come to graphics in graphics there are so many options like i mentioned so i'll choose this one over here position it here and increase the size okay now drop it down a little bit right click and send it to the back you can see that's what we have over here okay then we will duplicate it again and put, bring it down right click send it to the back so with the first gradient we added you can change the color to any color at all so i would come and uh, maybe make this more intense okay then i would select the second one and i will change the color so in order to be able to use gradient i have a special tutorial i created okay so 
um with the second color over here i would choose you know any color i think maybe a yellow will do okay because gradient are just a transition from one color to the other so it's always good to use colors that are next to each other okay so that's the secret of gradient yeah so now i would arrange all of this nicely and i think so far our design is looking cool okay but it looks like this looks more impressive and the reason is because all the colors are matching okay so let's do the same here so let me rather use colors that are already in the design so that everything looks cohesive so you can see it's looking beautiful this one is matching this and this is matching this and that's what's making our design look very interesting so yes the next thing we are going to do is to press c on our keyboard for a circle reduce it position it um let me reduce the font size of the circle to one and position it here okay duplicate it position it here duplicate it again in here select all three come to position okay and arrange them tidy up okay so once you tidy up then you can just move them to the center but i would reduce the size more bring it here okay then we'll spread these ones okay just spread them okay so this is looking very beautiful okay so after you do that we'll change all the colors to white okay so change it to white then you can come to okay still an element you can search for any icon you want to use so for example you can search for um plane okay to so plane because it's a travel something so you just choose elements that you know work well with each other or element that suits whatever you are doing okay so plane then i'll just change the color to match any of the colors i already have and I'll center it here. Then, um, what was the other one I even selected? Okay, so I have the location and the camera, and that's what I'm going to look for. So I'll just set for location. Okay, it should search nicely. Select it, and uh, we'll just reduce, you know, all of this like this. Then we'll position it here. Change the color to the blue. Okay, center it and make sure it's centered in the circle. Then the next thing you're going to do is to maybe search for the camera. So, camera. And then we'll just search and we'll find some nice cameras over here. And we'll reduce the size and position it also over here. Then you can reduce the size more if it's looking too big. Then we'll change the color to the blue again. Okay, so now this is the main thing. Then we will just add our text. Okay, so the text i'm just going to skip the whole part okay so i'll copy this text position it here okay and um since the lady is here maybe we'll move the text here okay and move it here i know it's difficult to read right now so go on the elements.africangigs.com you'd find this gradient shadow okay so just add a gradient shadow and um it should make your design look interesting so make sure that you just don't drag it directly on top use your arrow key to move it okay nice one then i will send it behind so this is going to look so that we can easily read and with the remaining things i think it's just a matter of me um you know copying everything we have over here okay so i will come here and paste it over here and i think it's looking very nice so select 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 come up maybe reduce the size a little bit you know because when it comes to text i know you know how to add text to your designs okay so yeah reduce it and uh, you can see how it's looking very beautiful then select 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 copy and i'll paste it over here okay just to speed up the whole design because adding the text alone would make us exceed 20 minutes which i'm trying to avoid okay then i would paste this one also over here you can see it's looking beautiful i would you know this is the line i added okay so yeah it's just oh now you check some adding then you can see what i did over here i added social media icons some text some icons just to spice in everything up and this is the same design we have been able to recreate so yes this is the steps i used to create the design we just finished with and if you found this helpful 
you know i'll just appreciate so much if you can hit on the like button okay and this is the thing before you go i created some assorted canva template for you because i've come to understand that you know sometimes you may want or you may need a design for any purpose and designing it from scratch can be very difficult so i have put together some assorted um, canva templates which are easy to edit which are easy to use you know optimize for instagram and all that so if you are interested in getting this bundle of templates then you know all i have to say is check the link in the description box below the name is benjamin don't forget to like don't get to find me on instagram don't get to subscribe do all the youtube stuff you know what to do okay <laughs> yeah so always remember there is no limit to creativity and i would see you in my next tutorial